Welcome to the Very Merry Life Podcast. Unfiltered, unscripted, and always relatable as fuck. I'm your host, Mary Hendricks, and you might know me from Instagram as that relatable AF mama who hopefully feels like an old friend at this point. And if not, hang tight and join in as things get real, honest, and probably a bit too TMI as I, and the help of some amazing guests, dive into all things mom life, marriage, sex, and more. No experts, just real life moms talking real life things. So get ready to laugh lots, cry occasionally, and leave feeling seen, supported, and inspired. Making friends is hard enough as an adult, let alone as a mom, but all of that changes right here and now. So hang on, lean in, virtually clink whatever glass you have nearby with mine, and let's go. All right. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. All right. So today for the podcast, I have very exciting guests on. And I'm I'm sure at some point, if you're listening, you probably will see their apparel. I was actually at the zoo today uh, and I saw a few right here at home, like sweatshirts and stuff. Oh, like no I can, way. I can spot it. It's very, it, it's cool. But That's anyway, so I have Nikki and Dave on, right? Dave. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. I want to say Drew. Drew's your brother. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And fun that we're going to get into the backstory of all this. So I have them on. I'm going to let you guys introduce in a second and we'll get into the backstory of how we know each other and go from there, but I'm excited for today. So go ahead. Well, thank you for having us on. Obviously, um, if you guys haven't heard of us, I know Mary shared us a million times. Um, We own right here at home clothing line. It's for moms, kids, families, pretty much everyone, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be for families anymore. We kind of have something for everyone in the shop now. Um, and we've been running for about six years now and it's just been like a wonderful experience because it's become like more of just a clothing brand. It's more of like a community behind it. And we've met so many amazing people like you, like, obviously I've known you, but I've grown to like, even know, know you even more now. So like we've met, made so many connections and everything through it. So it's just been like an amazing journey so far. Love that. Love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so as Nikki was saying, okay. So from my background on this, my story with this, so I, when did I first have Cassie? It was whenever I had Cassie, when you started, you said you started the six years ago, it was when I had Cassie. So she's going to be turning five. I remember seeing on Instagram, someone that you paired with, and I don't know who it was, but it was someone I was following at the time shared a sweatshirt. And I, don't know if I still have it anymore, but I bought it for me and my sister-in-law and it was like a pink one. And it just said mama right in the side. Okay. Yeah. I remember that one. It was and like it was one like, of the original. Yeah, yeah. One of the first, it was like a blush pink and it had like, or, and then I think you all said like a mint green option. Cause I yes. think that yep. my it was a hoodie. You remember? Yeah. yeah. It was so and yeah. Was there was Phoenix. like a blush one and a sage one. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, I bought that and then I, I just, that was, that was it. I bought it, loved it. My sister-in-law loved it. We continue knowing that shop and I've kept seeing whatever post. I think, you know what, who was, I think it was Allie and boss, Allie boss. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. We, yeah, we used to like, I mean, I used to like talk to her all the time. She was like the sweetest girl. And yeah, she I always loved... used to wear our clothing. It was so nice. Yeah. She, I think it was her that I was in, influenced by, but then long story short, I got into this world of Instagram and I just, I don't, I don't really even understand that, but I got into it involved and I remember following you or something, the shop. And then I was like, I, I didn't know it was you. And I saw a picture of you on your stories and I was like, holy shit. So Nikki and I went to high school together. We're only a year apart. Yeah. Middle school too, right? Yeah. Middle middle school, school. middle school. You went, I think we went to probably the same elementary school. We went to everything. Yeah. We had some of the same friends too, like that we ended up like, you know, we would, yeah, we were like in the same circle of, of people. Like it wasn't rare for us to like, you know, cross paths and stuff like that. So immediately knew it was you. And then it was like, you know, from there where we just got talking and I've, 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 you know, I love your stuff. So I'm always, everyone always says like, whenever I'm wearing anything from you, I'm, I'm like, it's chances are 95% of the time is right here at home. Just because (laughs) why not? That's, that's my life now. I'm, I drive a white Toyota Sienna minivan and (laughs) mom wear wear mom apparel. Yeah. Anything um, comfortable, right? (laughs) Yeah. But I, I, um, and Dave, and Dave also went, so Dave, you're yes. older than yep. you I graduated, uh, with her, oh, her brother, right? Brian, right. He was, yeah, I was 08, 08. What? No. Yeah. 08. I was 03. 
Yeah, but your brother, I think, was in school. I think your brother was in. My brother was, oh, my brother's two years young, older than me. Oh, six. Yeah, six. So he was with my brother. Chris. He was yeah. in Chris's he grade, was in my, I think. I have another brother, Chris. So I, I'm one of three. I'm, I'm the oldest. So. Yeah. And Drew, Drew is my. Drew is the youngest. Yeah. So he he's one year older. Yeah. Drew and I think I used to hang out. Seven. He was seven. Seven or eight. One of those. I don't know. What did you say? You <laughs> said you and Drew used to have a little thing? No, no. I think we used to hang out. Did he used to hang oh, out? Uh, I'm probably going to have to cut this up. Did he used to hang out with Alex Ange- Alex Aegis? Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay, yeah. I that name. <laughs> yeah, we did. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <living. laughs> Circle's getting tighter. Circle's getting tighter. <laughs> memories flooding on back. <laughs> Scary memories, actually. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I think it involves the woods, the woods, <laughs> fire of some sort, lying to my parents about where I was and some abandoned couch in the middle of the woods. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> yeah. You can see that um, happening. Uh, yeah. Good times. There. Great times. Great times. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. So I want to get is again, I, I have moms listening and I have a lot like even today on my stories, I had asked because I, for Christmas time and things like that coming up, I, I try and shop small business when I can. I try and support small business, but you guys are technically a small business. You guys are growing into a much bigger business, which I love, but I have moms that are trying to do similar stuff. And I like, where did you guys begin? Like what inspired you to even start this? So before we're going to pedal back, back further. So before I had kids, you know, I was a hairdresser Mm -hmm. um, and I worked in a salon and then I got pregnant with Gavin. um, And I worked up until basically the day I had him in the salon, I left and I had him early. He was four weeks early. So I had one day off from work and then I had him. And then once I had him, I kind of knew that I wasn't going to want to go back to work full time. Um, especially because daycare in New Jersey is like so expensive. So I was like trying to figure out what I could do that, um, wasn't like a full time, you know, like I, where I wouldn't have to put him into daycare. So I decided to stay home and I actually ordered these like shirts off of Etsy for like my first mother's day with him. And they came in and I loved them. They were like, I think they were vinyl or whatever, but they were like, I was like obsessed with them. And I was like, I looked at them and I was like, Dave, I could do this. So like, I kind of started it as a hobby and I was doing, um, hair on the side still. And I was nannying, I was like hustling. We started on Etsy and, um, from there, like Dave built me a salon in the basement. So I was doing hair full time. Um, and I was wearing Gavin in like one of those like Bajorn, you know, while I was doing hair. And then I was running our Etsy shop and it kind of took off and I wasn't expecting it to at all. And we definitely learned a lot on the way. Like we started out with basically just doing, you know, we were ordering, actually the funny thing is the first few months we were, we didn't even know where to get clothing, but we were going to like forever 21. Remember that? (laughs) And we were like picking up blank shirts because they were like really cheap. They had really, really cheap, like blank shirts. And we had no idea, you know, we had not, we had no experience behind it at all. Yeah. We knew nothing. I got like a little prick uh, or a silhouette machine and I was like cutting everything and man, did that take forever? Cause I was like weaving everything. It was terrible, Yeah, but we didn't know better, you know, in the beginning. So basically the business just kept on kind of rolling and it was doing really well. And then at one point I was like, all right, I can't nanny anymore. Like I have way too much on my plate. So I stopped that. And then around year three is like when I was like, all right, I definitely cannot do hair anymore. And at this point, like we like started buying screen printing machines, you know, we had all this other equipment and Dave would be like coming home from work after his full-time job. And we would stay up to like 3am. Yeah. Like busting out orders because it was just me, you know, at the time, like if he was at work, it was just me. And I was like in between our kids, um, like naps and you know I was nursing so it's like constantly stopping and going so we were up till like 3 a.m every morning basically hustling yeah it just took took forever yeah Um, the way we were doing it it was not um efficient yeah it was not not efficient at all all. you know we were just testing waters right I mean in the beginning it was like one sale a week and we're like, oh, great. And then, you know, it just grew and grew and grew. And yeah. there's a lot of learning curves. Yeah, I remember like making $200 a month and I was like so excited. Yeah, we're like, great. <laughs> yeah. We can get some groceries. Yeah. Then, yeah. Like, it's perfect. Like we were excited. It wasn't anything. And then it just kept steamrolling and just 
bigger and better and we found different ways to be more efficient right and then we found like diff different distributors to work with yeah. that made everything like so much easier and things were coming to us you know, so much quicker you find clothing is you know you buy it in bulk it's like yeah. going to costco or bj's and you just you're just you're just learning it's a yeah. lot of growing pains yeah yeah well and that and that would be a question too have you ever had any setbacks if you have if you guys experienced oh, yeah. that was like i want to quit this no, I mean, not that we want to quit it, but it was, you know, maybe not bad dis business decisions, but okay. more of, um, you know, like, all right, well, maybe let's do it different. differently this time. Yeah. yeah because, or like the next time we do it or, you yeah. know, like we kind of, we, we, I mean, we definitely trialed and errored a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Beginning. And that's, I think, just part of this. Any yeah. business, if you yeah. don't have the proper guidance or anything, you know. So yeah. Awesome. Definitely. And uh, with Instagram, Instagram, I would imagine Instagram probably blew you up because I. Mm -hmm. We'll be back after a quick break. I opening moments podcasts are real life stories of adversity, encounters and perspectives. They are moments that can lift your spirits, give you some food for thought or move you for the introspective mind that likes to reflect, discover and find solutions or meaning in a complex life, listen to Eye Opening Moments podcasts. Yeah. So I like was huge on like, I am going to grow it organically. Like I am, I was huge about that. So I remember like when we hit 10,000, I was so excited because when I hit 10,000, it wasn't like it is now. You couldn't link anything until 10,000 followers. Yeah. You remember yeah, exactly. that? Yeah. yeah. So like anything I shared in my story, there was no way for someone to like click it until I hit that point. So I remember hitting 10 grand and I was like so excited. Um, and then once I like finally got some like, you know, like, a good community behind us everyone just kind of basically started sharing for us you know like yeah. that was like the best part of it. it was like word of mouth you know yeah um and then we made like so many good connections like with different people and they were always like we've met, met so many people that have just always been happy to share us and they and we've always like tried to find the best quality clothing like we that's what we like pride ourselves on like we never cheap out on like any clothing because I always feel like if it's not comfortable I'm not going to wear it especially no. as a mom you know like we always wanted to find that so I feel like the clothing kind of spoke for itself so when we would like send it to people they would end up liking it anyway you know like it was just yeah it was a great way to like kind of like share the word about it you know yeah well I can say that I mean I, this is a cheap ass sweatshirt I made by myself <laughs> on a <laughs> I like it though why it mom but uh, <laughs> I um well I said on my story today I I said, I'm vowing to never freaking use talk to text. Cause that's all I do in my stories. Mm -hmm. I was wearing this sweatshirt and I, I, I use talk to text and just to type up everything. Cause I get, I have swipe thumb. I don't know if that's a thing, but my thumb hurts from swiping so much on my damn phone. But I said, it, it sounds like I'm drunk because I don't proofread before I post <laughs> shit. And I'm like, and I said it while I'm wearing this and I'm like, I'm not drunk. I promise you. And I was like, that eh, doesn't really help my case. I do that too, though, because I do it. And Dave, Dave will like send me a message and be like, did you even read what you just wrote? And I'm like, no, no. it's out there. Yeah. No, and I no should, back especially, especially for Instagram. I'm like, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. you should do that from now yeah. on. But I can't say, so anyway, with this, this is just a cheap ass sweatshirt, but with yours, I, 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 again, I have like a shit ton. I'm looking at my closet now, but they all hold up. And that's like the great thing. Um, that's why I'm in. You guys are, you guys are kicking ass. Thank you. I, I love, um, I was going to ask the question and now I, don't you love how your brain just shuts mm -hmm. off when you're a parent? Oh, <laughs> okay. So balancing it all. So now, 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 and so Dave, you, you guys recently moved, you guys were, yep. In yep. yep. you guys moved to Maryland. Yep. Yep. And Dave, you were a police officer mm -hmm. and did you, you guys moved with the intention of knowing that Dave was going to full-time, like you guys full-time doing this now. Yes. Yeah. So I got hurt at work and uh, I had a spine operation and everything. So they retired me medically and we just decided, you know, let's just move. Um, I actually went to school down here in the University of Maryland. Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm kind of familiar with the area and then yeah. we have some friends and stuff down here. And it was far enough where we could still go back 
um, and see like Nikki's family and stuff. Yeah, it's close it's enough. It's only like three hours, but not too bad, two, 245. But you know, New Jersey's like so expensive. The so we were like- outrageous. So I said, let's just, let's yeah. go. And then, um, you know, it's just, just easier. So yeah, we came down here and Good. started it up again here yeah <laughs> how do you how do you find balancing this whole thing with like family life and all that stuff um, some days I'm like yeah I got this and then some days I'm like underwater like I feel like especially with the holidays I'm like I I'm fe- I think everyone feels this right now like that there's just not enough time like I feel like there should be a whole nother month in between November and December because it's just yeah, like so quick so chaotic and like every holiday comes earlier and earlier I think that's probably the hardest part mm-hmm. is like the kids you know like it's September and Christmas stuff is all over our house because we have to be like three seasons ahead at a time yeah so like that's yeah. kind of hard and then really when once September hits it's like we don't breathe until June, really. Yeah. Like, you know, like summer is our, yeah. I don't want to say it's our slow time, but it's a good time for us to be slower because the kids are off of school. So I don't mind it being yeah. a little bit slower. Definitely works out well. But Definitely. the holidays. Yeah, because you, you guys get pummeled for, it's Halloween. Yeah. And Halloween is like, back to Halloween is like on, yeah, back to school, Halloween. Halloween's like on crack net these days. It's like yeah. nuts. Yeah. Um, Which I didn't see coming, by the way. I didn't think it was that big. And I got- didn't either. We got into this and I'm like, wow, people are really in the Halloween. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how big of a social media. I think it's gotta be social media, social media. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and then also every store you walk into, it doesn't matter what kind of store it is. It's the, you know, you go into your grocery store and there's Halloween candy in July. Like everything is like, you know, yeah, it's the, it's the, yeah, it's crazy. And then Christmas Christmas is like Mm -hmm. on crack as Mm -hmm. well. Yep. Yeah. And then every year we're like, all right, it's January. We're going to have like a slow period, like after Christmas. And it's never like that. Like every year we say Valentine's (laughs) Day. Day. Valentine's Day is a huge holiday. Like you would never think it is, but it's huge. Like this year was, it was one of our busiest holidays. And it's because people want to like dress their kids cute for Valentine's Day. It's a lot more kids for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. It's again, it's social media. I feel like it's just like they all want, everyone wants like that picture. Yep. Yep. It's, of, it's such a of figuring out. I mean, it's good for you guys. It's yeah, just it is. And then Mother's Day is right there. Yeah, and then Mother's Day, and then you have like, well, like you have like the well, little same, holidays, yeah, like people do buy for St. Patrick's Day and Easter, but Mother's Day starts like really the beginning of March because yeah. people buy so early, you know. Yeah. And then, so it is a little bit hard, like especially now that our I almost feel like. When the kids were younger, it was almost easier because they were all home. Like, yes, I was stopping to like feed each one and I was nursing and there were like nap times that never happened sometimes, you know, but like they were all under the same roof and like it was a little bit more controllable. But now it's like even harder because they're in school. And like, really, it's just Dave and I that do everything. Like we have a we have some people that help us like behind the scenes and like seasonally, but like for the most part, it's us. Like we write the emails, we write the text messages. He does all of our, like, um, our, all of our, uh, you know, that he's our customer stuff. service, you yeah, know? Yeah. So like, it's really us. So it is a lot like when our kid has this holiday party and this holiday party yeah. and we're running from like, it's, it's actually easy to, ba- it's, I shouldn't say easy, but it's, it's a little bit. So when we started, we, you know, we started in our home yeah. and it was easy because you know, like she said, when the kids would go to bed, we would go to work. Right. So yeah. it was, it wasn't easy. I hate saying that, but it was very flexible for us. Yeah. So, and then as we grew, we grew out of like, you know, our, our little bedroom and then we got into a bigger room and then we had to go to, a, you know, a, a bigger facility. And then it was just, then we moved. So now we've moved here. We had to find a home that had the adequate right. area. Until because, we figure you know, out like where we've we- been shopping around for like the next- bigger facility basically that's awesome yeah, yeah. But we're just waiting for that and now it's like it's such a difficult time right now looking for property and real estate God, with, yeah with warehouses and stuff like that so now we're just waiting and luckily we have a, a big enough area right now at the house to to do it out of but, good yeah you know, it's it's kind of a it's a blessing in disguise because like we we're here with the kids it's not like i have to go to work yeah so work is here yeah. but I feel like a lot of people after like during COVID and after COVID everybody's working from home at these days mm-hmm. I think so I, I I mean obviously my husband doesn't but he for he 
it, I, everyone's working home. I know my sister, she doesn't right. have kids, but at least she's home. I even ask her, I'm like, you go to the, sit, the office? And she's like, no, we don't have to anymore. And yeah, my know. sister too. Yeah. I think people are now just choosing to go to the office. I think it's just like optional at this point. Right. But, or like a monthly check-in if yeah. they need to, you know? Yeah, I, it, I, I mean, it's nice. I, yeah. I would say it's nice. I wish that was like available to me when I was like working yeah. time <laughs> after I left college. Cause that was like one thing I hated. I hated going to the office, yeah. but yeah, I think that's that's great. I, I think that's super exciting. But, it is. I mean, yeah. it's definitely nice. And like having him home now definitely makes it easier too because like, you know, if he needs like we can split up, you know, like we like tackle yeah. together. We're if like, she wants to stay and keep working, I can take the kids and yeah. It, uh it's definitely changed for the better. Yeah. And if, if as so I'm sure people are gonna want to know this from a marriage portion, like ha- have you guys obviously have to work very well as a team in all this. If- yeah. Oh yeah, we're we're very we, uh, we're very hand in hand over here. I mean, we love each other, but there are days I do want to strangle him. <laughs> of course, of course you do. <laughs> Who doesn't? I mean, that's with any marriage, but it's good. Some yeah. days I'll just leave early for the post office. So yeah, just, you know. But even so, even in the beginning, like especially like when you had this first idea, like was there any hesitation in like? investing your time and your money into this was there ever any doubt where you're like maybe this isn't worth it or was it just something like you're like let's just go for it like I don't think I so think she, I mean it kind of started like so like she said she was home and yeah. you know that child care was a wash with what she was making so she just kind of started like correct me I'm wrong like kind of like a hobby yeah I kind of wanted like like some something like fill in and- like you know, and Something I was like, bill, really. and, and like motherhood is obviously the most, like one of the most important things in my life, you know, yeah. like, but like I had Gavin and I was like, I don't know how I could ever do anything else in my life. So like, and then motherhood obviously isn't easy. So it's been kind of like easy to like come up with designs and everything for it because like, you know, you make a joke about wine and you put it on a shirt or, you know, because everyone's feeling the same struggle in it, you oh, know? Yeah. Like, Everyone yeah. is, yes. everyone is everyone feeling, right. Yeah. Like, I mean, there are days where you love your kids to death and there's days that you can't wait for your kids to go to sleep. So, yeah, you right. know, like, yeah, it, it's just, we get along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went from one boss to this boss. I like this boss better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sure. Not really your boss. <laughs> I'm sure. No, we're, 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 we, we make it work. Yeah. Yeah. We work I love that. Man. I love yeah. that. Well, I'm trying to think of like interviewee, <laughs> inter- interviewee questions. Hmm. Okay. So let's listen. So if, if there's a mom listening right now that is on the fence of like making a call to like do a, to pursue a small business, what would you say? Definitely do it. do it. Like there's, there's, there's only one regret in life and that's not doing like not, you know, taking you a chance. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. How about with Etsy? You guys work with Etsy. I think that's where I purchased my. That's where we started. So that's where we started. And we still do have like, we never really turned off Etsy because we were like, it's kind of Etsy drives itself. So like we never, like we do add things to it, but Mm -hmm. obviously mainly everything is on our site. Um, We switched off Etsy just because like the way that, not that the way that they run things are bad, but once. I had like a big enough following. I didn't There's really need Etsy. Stuff yeah. associated with Etsy, which is nothing wrong with it. No, I mean we still have it, so like right. it, we still make a we good both amount platforms. of money on it. But we just but we around just, what, 2019. Yeah, it was probably probably like 2019. I said Nick, I was like, you need to, you know, start your own website. I was yeah. like, I can do this. I had a little bit of background in computers and, and website building, so I said, listen, right. I can do this. Let's try it. If it fails. Just like everything in business, you know, just try it. If, it, if you don't try it, you're never gonna know. Yeah. So if it fails, what, what's the worst that happens? We turn it off. Yeah. And then we just continue on Etsy. So you know, the Etsy just kept going, and I said, you know, we could save money by the fees that Etsy's taking by just right. doing our own thing, and we can keep Etsy on the back burner. You know, just it like Nikki said, it drives itself. So yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it's a great way to start. Like it's a hundred percent because how it's like, you know, like you start an Instagram and you have like a hundred followers or whatever, you know, like you're not, you've only reached that many people. So like Etsy, it's like a free database because if someone's searching for mm-hmm. like a cup, they're going to type in like a Santa cup and maybe yours will pop up. You know, there yeah. are like a lot of different ways. Like you can go online because I took like different classes when I was first starting Etsy and I like figured out how to like work their all their like CE or SEO and everything yeah. and, like there's a lot of like 
you kind of have to do your research, which in, is in anything. Well, and right? that was the question I was going to ask is like, obviously you had to learn all of this. Oh, yeah. Just like mm-hmm. sit online and like Google the shit out yeah. of that. Yeah. YouTube stuff. You yeah. Can, you I took like classes in the beginning. Class, yeah. um, mm-hmm. Through what? Like college? Like a community college? No, I just... Um, people were offering it. Yeah, people so? were offering it. Like if you, when you start on Etsy, there's like a lot of people that like will like teach you how to make your Etsy, you know, like your Etsy shop a... Mm-hmm success so that's what we started with and then when we started the website like Dave basically designed it I mean I feel like they both like I think it's I think it's really good to start like you have a platform then to right so I would definitely start on that because Mm -hmm. we've actually found that there are people that will only buy from Etsy right because we've had yeah I don't I don't know why maybe just that's just the way they like to do it yeah like the idea of Etsy, I don't know, but they are because we've had customers reach out to us through our website, but we'll yeah. only buy mm-hmm. through our Etsy, which is is there like I mean, a level of protection or something that Etsy I, provides? You know, I don't know. I think there is actually. Oh, really? That yeah. might be why. That might be. I wonder if that's why. Because I, I know if like for me, if it's a new business that I've never shot before, sometimes it's like that added layer of protection right. where if they don't, yeah, through, I can see that. Then, yeah. And a lot of the times you don't know when you see a new business show up, you don't know where the stuff is coming from. So right. like yeah, on but... Etsy, it usually tells you exactly where, exactly where it's coming from. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Yeah. That's interesting. It is. Oh. But I would say definitely like definitely give it a chance because and you're, you really don't have much to lose. Right. You're not, I mean, you don't have to put your whole life savings into it, but if it's something that you're passionate mm-hmm. about, you know, you're never going to know until you do it. That's no. kind of why Etsy's nice because they kind of, they have the template for you, yeah. You know, yeah. and all you need to do is basically throw some photos up there and get yeah. whatever it is you're selling, and, share and you it just somehow. ship them. You know, it's mm-hmm. and then if you see that it's it's making some noise and taking off, you just you make that decision to start up your own website and just yeah, go keep going. There. Mm-hmm. Love that. Love yeah, that. that's so cool. I'm like I'm floored. I'm honestly like <laughs> I remember I I. I could probably pull it up. I have to actually see if I have that order number because I know that that's what it was. I'm pretty sure it's so funny. Let's see. It's funny that you like, like there's been other people that have like purchased from us, like from in the beginning on Etsy too. And and then like it would show up on their Instagram and they had like, what, like 200,000 followers. And we were like, oh my God, this person just bought from us. You, yeah. remember? you know, like it, it's just... It's just crazy how like things happen. And this world is totally different than what it used to be. I'm, I mean, we definitely always had this like background because my dad was in the clothing business, but yeah. like, I always wanted to just, you know, like, I think because he, I, he had that behind him, like I, I wanted to do something like that. Yeah. Like I always had an interest in it. And then, yeah. um, you know, I kind of, wa- I wanted to do it obviously on my own and we, you know, I wasn't expecting it to become something so great, you know, um, yeah. but I'm happy that it did because it's really been like a blessing for uh, both of us and the kids, you know, like the kids have no idea of like what, <laughs> what, yeah. is, what I reality is. Because, to yeah, they pack both of us home all the time, you like, know, no, but I think work. like that's, that's going to be such like an important lesson for them just to see like, I I, I think it's cool from like a mom a mom perspective because like you know like when you have a baby it completely just yeah. rocks your world like you you just are transformed in such a way where like it, you want it like you wanted to stay home with your babies like that was like your goal and you figured out a way to do that and it it just you know it, I think sometimes we feel limited when we have kids we feel like just so like capped off the moment right. we have kids and you're just like it I, that's why I wanted to bring you on. Cause I just, well, I, I mean, look at you too, though. Like you grew this amazing platform Thanks. and, <laughs> and you're funny as shit and people love it because you are so relatable, you know, Thanks. like, I mean, it's real world. Yeah. It's real it's, world. It's like, the truth. I mean, yeah. my kid just threw up on me. This is me today. You know, like it, it, it is real world, you know? Yeah. So it, it is nice to find something that you can do because Honestly, when you're just like, when you're staying home, you know, like you get, yes, it's hard. It is hard. And that's why like the community behind it has been like the best thing because like I've made so many friendships and everything just because we're all stuck in the same, like, 
bubble. Yeah. bubble right now, you know, especially yeah. when you have little kids. I mean, it's a different aspect when they get older. There's all these other challenges too, but when they're so little, it's like, you don't, you're not seeing your friends anymore. You're, you, you like your whole life changes and you're, yeah. you, you basically, <laughs> I feel like I work harder now than I did at the PD. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. It's yeah. owning a business. People think it's, it's, it is flexible because you own it, but but you never you have any time off work either. Harder, yeah. and there's definitely less time. Yeah, agreed. Really that, that but grind. you love it. But you love, and I'm sure you exactly. love other. But you it, gotta love what like, you It's do. a different, like, and that's how I feel with like all of this. Like I said to Kev, because I've I've been busy the last few nights where we like haven't really had anything, but I've been scheduling like so much of just like trying to like bust my ass with like the podcast and like Instagram and all this stuff. And I just said, I was like, I love it, but I'm working more than I ever, I I hated working. I hated, but I hated working in pharmaceuticals. That's what I went into after college. I hated it. I absolutely just couldn't, I loathed it, but this I love. So I don't mind putting the effort in because it's, it's just worth it. But, um, and you can do it on your own schedule, basically, you know, like, well, I think, I think, yeah, well, and I think it's like almost like a this whole thing is, is like a form of like self-care for you guys. Like it's just, uh, it's, it's business and it's doing something, but I think you started this as a form of a hobby and like mm-hmm. doing something to do something for you. Like that's the thing with parenthood is like, you kind of just get swallowed up and mom life, you just get swallowed up and forget. We have a house phone. Do you guys know? No. You still have a house phone? Hells yeah. Kev- Who's calling <laughs> you? Spam. Hello. Hello. Oh, my dad used to do the same thing. <laughs> no one. Kev, well, we do it because of 911. Kev, oh, oh, yeah, cases man. and he was like, let's just get a direct route because of our children being this. like they try to commit suicide every single day. So for us, we're like, just tell, just tell everyone it's for the fact machine. Don't worry. About it. Literally, I'm surprised. We just have it in every single like level of our house, just in case. Because I so funny. I found a pair of kitchen scissors underneath Cassidy's bed uh, pillow. Oh my god! <laughs> She's obsessed. With just that. in case, just in case someone walks into her room at night. No, it's it just. It, and finally, I had a parent-teacher conference with their teacher, and her teacher said, "Yeah, we're working on cutting lines. Like, and they're working." And so I, she's been adamant about cutting things, getting home. And I couldn't find my kitchen scissors. Those things are sharp. Yeah, really I find sharp. Them. And I knew that she took them, but she wouldn't tell me where they were. And finally, I found them underneath her pillow. But I'm like, she's obsessed with like trying to cut everything. So she funny. cut her hair. She cut her oh, hair. my God. Oh, as long as it wasn't your pants, yeah. right? Yeah, Coda did that. The no, first day. Gavin. Oh, Gavin did that too. Oh, so Gavin's like first day of kindergarten <laughs> last year. He comes home and his like shorts are like shredded up and we're like Gavin what, what happened, happened? We just and, bought he, these and he's like I don't know mommy I fell and they ripped and I go you did not fall like that did not happen from you falling <laughs> he emailed the teacher yeah. yeah they're working on cutting this week and oh, he was yeah, like I cutting on his lap so he like literally chopped up his entire shorts <laughs> oh it looked like he got into like a wrestling match with a bull or something yeah ridiculous. but Coda did the same she hates tags so like she's only three she went downstairs like on the first day of school this year and she like cut while she was wearing her pants, she cut her tag out. So all of a sudden I'm like, what is all over your butt? And it was her underwear showing through her pants because there was so many holes in the yeah. back of it. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, no, her teacher was saying that. I was like, I think I have two things. I like Cassidy gets like, she, I can tell what she's doing at school. She must be in charge of like cutting things out and then tape, anything tape and glue she's obsessed with. Cause I, they give like the kids free reign. But I'm gonna just put a bunch of tape and glue and scissors in her stocking for Christmas. <laughs> like easy oh, she'll enough. Be so happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. Tape and glue. All right. Well, in wrapping up, just in for you guys. So, like, where, like, five year plan, like a like kind of thing. Like, what's your next goal for right here at home? I mean, I think that every. I mean, we have like all these ideas and we're kind of out of space right now. So our next thing is yeah. to obviously find a new facility and cause we want to, we want to expand into like right. embroidery, embroidery and everything. And, uh, some more stuff. Yeah. Um, some higher quality stuff. Every, every time we do it, we try to step it right. up, you know, make order new machines. Like we're everything, yeah. everything is always, that's with anything. It's always like progressing. So we're always trying to keep up with like yeah. the, the new machine that's coming out to do this and this and, 
we would like to expand into more of it. We just mm -hmm. kind of have to get a bigger space now because we're, yeah, we're just kind of waiting for that. Once that happens, but like you said, the five year plan, you know, we're looking to do and probably hire a lot more people. More people. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that way so we, we can maybe breathe. <laughs> Good. Well, uh, actually, I have another question for because I'm just trying to like pick brains because I know I have a bunch of like people that are like message me and are just trying to get small business. So when I found you on, I'm, I want to say it was Alec. You know, it was either Kim Perry. Mm -hmm. I love or, Kim. I love Kim. I will, her and I have like finally, and I, it's so funny her and I talking to him because I know I followed her in my pre Instagram life. Oh, you did? And, yeah. That's there were so certain funny. people that I like followed. And I think it was because of your page. Like it's, oh, funny. really? Yeah. Because like, you, I, I think it was Ali Boss that brought me to your page. And then from there, like seeing the people at whatever. But it was, um, that like, did you just reach out to them? Did you just, so Kim and I, I don't, well, Allie, yes. Like I think Allie, I mean, I always like talk to her about her house and everything. Cause yeah. you know, she had the cutest little farmhouse oh God, ever. Yeah. Um, and then like I, everyone that I have ever really sent things to, like I had a relationship with before, so they were like more than willing for me to but like, through the business. Through, yeah, yeah, through Instagram, but, and, and our business, like our, our business Instagram, but yeah we like I became friends with them kind of before so yeah. it was like it was nice because like they just were happy to support me at that point you know what yeah. I mean yeah. um I mean Kim and I have been friends for like five years now you know like we yeah. like we yeah we video like or send each other like voice messages all day long and Dave's like what are you doing talking to Kim again oh. I'm like yep yeah. I love her. I know oh. she's so funny. No, yeah, she she messaged me. She's like, "How are we not like already talking?" I was like, "I don't know." I'm actually. I asked her to be on the podcast, so I'm just waiting. Oh, for good. Her time, but she'll do a good job. yeah, she's I amazing. Yeah, let me use. I mean, the influencers is just that's yeah. a different ballgame too. People right. getting involved in that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we we, we have yeah Matt. Now we use different management companies. Good. You know, so that that's been helpful too. Just getting like our name out there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of advertising. Yeah. And... I mean, yeah, it's not cheap. Like advertisement, you can't like cheap out be on because you have to put your name out there to get seen. You know. So yeah. we you know we spend a good amount on ads and everything every month and Google ads. Yeah. Instagram. Everything's a social media. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I don't know. Media. If I would have been 10, five years older, I probably would have missed the train on this social media <laughs> stuff. It's unbelievable because, like, you know, you talk to your parents now and they're like, what are you talking about? Right. I know. My, don't parents, even understand my parents it. don't get any of this. They don't. Yeah. They don't. They don't. But, like, you look at, like, the way things are being retailed and sold and everything is on the phone. Everything is social media. Everything is. Right. Yeah. I don't remember it's, the last just, time I, like, walked into a store. It's and insane. Something. So, if. No, well, even the, the generation now, like, the whatever the up and coming generation like i think there was an interview recently where it said like what tv shows are you watching none of them watch tv shows there's nothing they watch tiktok mm -hmm. yeah i believe it. they know which crazy. tiktok influencers are like they don't watch any like that's our generation it's like i think it's like dying off right. with gen z of like the sitcoms and things like that it's now all online yeah. it's weird but that's how you have to like connect mm -hmm. and reach these people yeah to to you know to, grow. to, to your shop yeah. So, yeah so you gotta like you gotta adapt and overcome really i mean yeah. there's no brick and mortar really i mean there is some things but yeah it's unbelievable that's crazy awesome well thanks for coming on guys this is fun yeah. for having us yeah thank you yeah next time you guys are up in jersey let me know because oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, so, yeah yeah we should, like go well shit i saw my baby that nurses every she doesn't take a bottle so oh, i'm like none of my none kids of did kids. what'd you do did you just wait until they like hit one <laughs> year and then maybe yeah. yep <laughs> yeah i was like a slave to them that's how my life is right now yeah. mm -hmm. i was all right with it <laughs> yeah dave didn't care because my boobs were enormous <laughs> like <laughs> well, i just meant i didn't have to get up uh, oh <laughs> <laughs> it's not like i could just wake up at two and do it for you yeah yeah, you never had to deal with anything. No. So that was like the every time like we'd be working, I'd be like, "All right, I gotta go nurse." Like my child's up every two hours, needs to eat. Like yeah. that's yeah. the only perk of it is that I get out of things that I don't want, or like I can right. leave situations and right. like, say I have to go. But it's like 
there are some moments where I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like next month, I'm going to take Cassidy because she's turning five to New York City. I'm going to go take her to go see my sister. And I'm like, oh, we're just, yeah, just going to go. But I'm like, I need to know that this child is like, it's not even the eating portion. She's a ham. She literally looks like a butterball turkey. So she's fine with eating. Right. But she, I just need to know that she's staying hydrated because I'm her right. main source of fluids. But I'm like, come on, like get off of me. Like I'm done. Just, yeah. How old is she now? Almost nine months. Aww. You're almost there. Yeah. You're almost there. <laughs> you got the finish line in sight. I know. That's why I never went, I never intended to go this far. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's cheap. So yeah. It's- yeah. Yeah. A lot cheaper. Yeah. Not cheaper. So that's all I keep telling myself cheaper but she's getting teeth so oh, that's fun mm-hmm. i gave mm-hmm. her a talk if she bites me once game gosh over. that is the worst feeling in the world you literally feel it through your whole body oh you feel it through your whole body and then every nurse like nursing session ever since then is the worst thing ever because you're just anxious because you know yeah. it's about to come yeah mm-hmm. awful <laughs> well good luck <laughs> <laughs> keep your posted. <laughs> Yeah. enjoy that all right it's some fun times anyway you guys are done having babies right yeah oh, we're God, done yeah, the train three it, three was our station three was our number so we're good with that yeah two was mine but i love my third <laughs> all right i told i went to the turtle back zoo today and i said to kev i was like that was i don't know if we're done but i was like i don't know today was pretty good good yeah three birth control yeah. you're going for four good for you no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Today, I don't know. Day, you know, there's either baby fever days or there's birth control days. Mm. I think you'll always have baby fever though, because like I know yeah. I think you still have. Yeah, I literally like our our neighbor has a baby, and oh my god, I look at her and I'm like, Dave, we yeah, just do one low. more. Like, but like, I probably would drown. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Like I don't no, know. Like, and just even there. being there, like at the zoo today, like seeing, like I was with the stroller. I had like the stroller and the three kids, and all of a sudden I looked down for a second, and Spencer's like heading in this direction, and I'm like, oh Jesus Christ! But I I said to Kevin when I got home, I was like, I. I don't know, but I was like, today was a really good reminder. Like, I can't wait for the stroller years Mm -hmm. to be done a little bit. Like I just, it was like everyone, cause you watch other moms are like maneuvering around with their strollers. And it was at New Jersey has teacher convention weekend. Everyone was off. It was crazy. It's the worst. It's like stroller bumper cars. Yeah. And I was just like, I can't wait until this is done. I was so happy to sell mine. Yeah, we sold ours. Any chance I get, I'll sell any of the baby stuff. It's so bulky and big. <laughs> fills our yeah, garage. he's just like really laying it in there that he's completely done. I asked Nikki, I was like, hey, are we done with this? I was like, I'm throwing it out the he's, he's like looking at our like water table outside. He's like, can we get this to someone? I'm yeah, like, I was okay. like, get rid of it. Like, yeah, see, Kev, Kev, is, Kev is going in easy with this one. Kev is like, like we have a, just moved a, like the, when we moved the bassinet downstairs, he's like, what are we doing with this? I was like, move it downstairs. I was like, just in case, just in case, like put yeah, the very much downstairs. And then when I asked him, I was like, what if we go for a fourth? And he's like, I'm cutting my dick off. <laughs> yeah, no, mine would be on marketplace the next day. No. Facebook marketplace, gone. <laughs> yeah. So Kev, Kev is just like easing it in where and then he finally, like every t- so often, he'll just like real lay it in. But yeah, meanwhile, you don't know, but he's like selling it every time he goes to work. He's like dropping it, it off. Probably is. Houses. Yeah. Yeah. It probably is. That probably I honestly wouldn't doubt it. I can't. There is a bin of old clothes of Cassidy's clothes that I know are good for Haley. Right? I cannot find it. I know I didn't get rid of them. Maybe that's what he's doing. He's like oh, yeah. slowly he's slowly pawning it off the people. <laughs> the Salvation Army. Oh, your wife's pregnant. Hold on. I have a hold on. I have stuff. stuff for you. Like, I did the same thing at work. I would yeah. if guys at work would be getting fast. Say, listen, I got stuff for you. No problem. We gotta bring it right over. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and ask him. Uh, I'll <laughs> deny it. But yay. Well, go enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much for yeah. coming on. Thank you for having me. And uh on. for everyone listening, I'm gonna link right here at home in the uh, show notes and, and website and everything that we can guys can check them out. And I have a discount code. Mm-hmm. You do the very merry life. Uh, yes. Um, I think that's it. I'll sure put it in the, sh- I'll put it in the show notes. I'll verify that, but I have, <laughs> I have everything um, for every, all that. But again, if you watch my stories, I wear them like 95% of the time. So <laughs> it's all good. Well, thank you for always supporting us. <laughs> always, always. Again, I mean, no, 
I wouldn't if it was shit. So it's all good. <laughs> it's not shit. It's, not shit. it's good. Yeah. And it, it literally, you know what it is? It's it like as a final, it's like, I joke about it where I'm, I wear mom apparel and I'm like, who am I? I was like, just taking keg, drinking out yeah. of a keg and whatever in high school. But yeah, we did that in high school. Um, we did. <laughs> But I did that and I was like, I'm now driving a minivan and wearing mom apparel and all that shit. But I'm like, it's literally our white flag. It's like, it's my white flag to like, just signal at people being like, hi, I'm in the, I'm in the shit. Yeah. So, yeah. You, please cut me a break and let leave me drink alone. my cold coffee. Yeah. Like just leave me alone. This is what I'm dealing with. And I, I think that's why people like it so much. It's just like uh, a signal. Like this is my life right now. Yeah. No judgment, please. This is a no judgment zone. <laughs> Yeah. And, and honestly, it allows us to like kind of own it. Like I kind of enjoy it. I I, mm-hmm. I mean, I love being a mom. So for mm-hmm. me to have that and like, yeah, damn right, I'm a mom. Right, I'm really proud and all that stuff. So, <laughs> yay! You just um, need a big, big bumper sticker on the back of that van now. Make a bumper sticker. Why don't you guys do that? We're gonna sell bumper oh, stickers. Now. I am gonna I'll make it. You. You'll you'll have the first one. Bumper stickers. <laughs> White flag right here. White flag. I'm a mom waving my white flag. Leave me alone. White flag. Please <laughs> pray for me. Yeah. yeah, that's actually really funny. Yeah, we'll get that. Yeah, I'll it's in the that. works. Yeah, I'll have it in the works by tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I, sh- I love it. All right, thanks, guys. Thank okay. you. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. Another episode down and way more to go. But thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you would like to help support this podcast, I would love for you to subscribe. I'd love for you to share it with others and post about it on your own social media or leave a rating and review. I cannot tell you how helpful and how appreciated those things are for me. Of course, to catch all the latest from me, you can follow me over on Instagram at The Very Merry Life, over on TikTok, The Very Merry Life. And even if you wanted to check out my monthly newsletter, you can do so by subscribing over at TheVeryMaryLife.com. I'll see you next week. Stay tuned for more honest, raw, real chit chat. I have some amazing moms lined up coming on and shit's going to get fun. So buckle up, buttercup. It's going to be good. <laughs>